voices in my head They counsel me, they understand, they talk to me What I want to talk about today is breatharianism a belief where you do not need food or water in order to survive. All you need is oxygen. That's all you need in order to survive. Just simple air. As if thinking that you are just a plant that requires no water. This was a request made by a cousin of mine in um, Massachusetts and uh, you know I have to say that breatharianism is incredibly fucking stupid because it's a clear proven fact that human beings are meant to eat and drink water we need food in order to survive I doubt that you can live without food or water for more, no more than at least a week. So he has fruit juice and he has tofu and vegan food and soya milk when we have guests for tea. Yeah. Now no one would bother much with this nonsense if it wasn't for the fact that Jasmine's teachings are linked to the deaths of a Melbourne housewife, Lani Morris, and Timo Deegan, a German school teacher, and Verity Lynn. An Australian who lived in Scotland. All were following the radical fasting regime promoted in Jasmine's book, Living on Light. Verity Lid died here in remote Scottish moorlands where she'd been camping alone. By her side was a copy of Jasmine's book and a diary with an entry noting she was into the seventh day of the 21 day fast. So this woman died following your regimen, is that fair? I have fair? no idea. It's not my regiment. It's a regiment that's been practiced for thousands of years that I happen to report on. What do you support? Mm, I support it as a wonderful initiation for people who are very well trained. That you effectively promote by writing books like this? No, I, it's not a promotion, more about sharing research. No, effectively yeah. promote by writing books like this. Um, the act of writing books like this, I suggest to you, is effectively promoting that regimen that resulted in the death of this woman and others. And I effectively promote in that book absolute self-responsibility, use of personal discernment and self-mastery. Richard Your Minions. responsibility to people who are silly enough to starve themselves. None of the people who are involved in this see it like that. Now, the human Barbie, which some of you may know, is also a breatharius. That's why she's extremely skinny and, for some odd reason, have very big boobs. And all I have to say is that breatharianism fucking sucks ass. What she is teaching is a fraud. Because if she is saying that you can live in this world without eating and drinking, then that is a fraud. And people believe it, then they're going to die. Dr. David Milliken studies cults, and he believes, any way you look at it, Jasmine's message is a lie. I guess it's tempting to say that she's mad, but I shy away from that because my dealing with a lot of cult leaders leads me to believe that they actually believe intensely in what they're doing. But then I guess when she gets hungry and, and, and eats a piece of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, I, I would ask her then, uh, does she believe? Because of course she eats. You know, I kind of like the idea that you don't have to spend much money on food, you know, because, you know, you don't have to eat as much. But us human beings are not built this way. We're not fucking bears. We humans are meant to eat food at least three times a day. Sometimes me, I skip a meal. I sometimes only eat twice a day. But during those twice, those two meals, guess what? I eat a lot. And I'm not overweight. But I'm definitely not The point is with breatharianism, there's a very good chance that you might die from starvation. And that it's incredibly pathetically stupid. Why would you want to do that? You know, it's... You're missing out a lot of good tasty stuff, you know. Uh, cheeseburgers, french fries, you know. I, I like to eat those stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there are plenty of people out there who live 
to their 100 years, you know, 100 years old, and, you know, uh, they eat good stuff. You're going to live a lot longer if you eat more healthy food. You know, like, um, see, like carrots, tomatoes, chicken, all those healthy stuff. But eating very little or eat, not eating at all, fasting in the sake of this spirituality, it's, it's ridiculous. Utterly fucking ridiculous. All I have to say is, Preferiism sucks ass. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace.